to all the dispossessed youth of Africa for perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits through the fight for African freedom and in the firm faith that the dead, the living and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines. Hello and welcome, beloveds, to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. Are you aware that the technology has existed for quite a while to put certain thoughts into your mind? and to program your thoughts. I talked a while back about the thought police. I'll definitely do a separate video on that when I, um, the show I did on how we're now literally living in George Orwell's 1984. And someone pointed out to me that 1984 is actually 22, which could be next year, 2022. Anyway, that's maybe the, that was their target. Uh, stories are definitely for other days, but it's very important for us to become increasingly aware of the type of world patrix, you know, techno, techno tricks that we live in. And the fact that the enemies of our soul have created the technology where they can literally, you know, implant thoughts, especially thoughts of fear, thoughts of discouragement. And some of it they do through mainstream media. They program and hypnotize people daily. And people even submit to it. Because the first thing in the morning that people will do will be to tune into a certain channel that is going into their minds. But they came up with the technology of putting thoughts into people's, you know, minds for a long time. If it's not thoughts of, you know, they can even put suicidal thoughts into people's minds, thoughts of fear, thoughts of failure, just a lot of negative, low-based thoughts. Like the technology is there. And a lot of you who are feeling like, you know, sometimes overridden by the negativity in your life, uh, it's because you are, you are facing an onslaught that you don't see from the unseen realm. And that's why I keep insisting, beloveds, raise your vibration. And I've done show, I've even done a show on how to raise your vibration. Elevate what you're thinking about. Elevate how you're spending your waking hours. Try and penetrate how you're spending your sleeping hours as well. Because that's, that's where the real action happens. But especially at this time, we're in like a global MK Ultra program, beloveds. Where through fear and force and bullying, they are going to attempt to put in the new world order. Excuse my cat or dada. I don't know if you can see her and hear her in the background. Beloved, we are in such perilous times. And you just have to be reassured that the, the battle is mental. They're going to try and make you think it's physical with everything that's happening, you know, the engineered famine, the lack of this, the lack of that, more and more control on people's movements, more surveillance, more monitoring, more trying to control people. Because as I was saying before, my dad interrupted me, we're like in a, you know, if you're in the collective mind, right now it's like a, a group MK Ultra program is literally being played out. And the people hook up into that program every single day without fail, beloveds. First thing they'll do before even going out in nature and hearing the messages that nature has, or even just sitting quietly in their room and hearing what the, their own soul has to say. First thing they do is switch off the phone, you know, switch on the phone. And I've been guilty of this to see, you know, who WhatsApp them, what's going on, you know. And it's because it's like an addiction, beloveds. And there's so many people who have talked about, you know, throwing away these gadgets and it will reach that time. But if you're feeling a certain type of way, if you're feeling defeated, if you're feeling like you don't have energy, if you're feeling like, you know, frustrated, like you can't really do anything, if you're even feeling suicidal and you know you're a chosen one, it just might be because 
people are actually penetrating your thoughts and putting your thoughts, in, you know, and, and manipulating your thoughts. That's where the war is. World War Three is happening in earnest, beloved. And it's a, it's a psychic, occult, and mental warfare. And, you know, there's even articles out there if our people would just read. There's articles. There's an article that came out way back in 2017, which was talking about five ways that technology could read your mind back then. And we always know that they're 50 years ahead with the technology. So what they're telling you they can do now, they could probably do 20, 30 years ago. So they're saying they can, you know, um, they can actually use... They can, they, they can scan the, the, the different ways that you feel that you're responding to messages. They can actually the scan the meaning of, you know, of some of, of the words that you're thinking, of your thought patterns. They can tell through your energetic frequency, you know, like a robot can tell. Like if you're given a choice between A and B, the robot could tell that you are choosing A. Like they've managed to penetrate into that biologically and look at the different, you know, code, different terms, different feelings based on energy, etc., etc. They can eavesdrop on your inner voice, beloveds. I'm reading this article from the New Scientist. And they say, you know, patterns of brain activity can now be decoded to tell what your inner voice is saying. Certain neurons in your brain activate in response to different qualities of sound, such as frequency. This is, this is not science fiction. This existed in 2017. I mean, they told us about it in 2017. They could read your inner voice there. It's like they were preparing for that thought police situation. And they say like, and so they give different scientists that discovered all this different information. So like the eavesdropping on your inner voice was actually discovered in 2014 by a University of California team in Berkeley. And they developed an algorithm that could actually decode patterns of neural activity to work out what sounds the brain is responding to. And then they could figure out what your inner voice was kind of, what kind of information your inner voice was feeding you. Now, beloved. They can only do these things to you. And there's others. They can also tell, um, you know, your intentions and free will, as I was talking about the robot, that if you're given an, a question, a choice between A and B, as you were making that choice mentally, it would already go and start executing because it could read your thoughts on that level. Um, so it's really important. And the thing is, they can also, you know, now put thoughts, type thoughts into your mind, throw thoughts into your mind. And it has a lot to do with electromagnetic energy because we are electric beings, beloved. And that's why, and that's why I keep saying, you must raise your vibration to the level where these, these things won't even reach you. And that means not thinking what Babylon wants you to think, staying away from Babylon gadgets. Really spending your waking times in nature, connecting with the four elements daily in your own way, having moments of silence and meditation, and staying away from the algorithms and the gadgets as much as possible, beloveds. Especially when you're de doing your deep thoughts or even when you're having deep conversations. Like, it's going to have to reach a point as well. And this is kind of a side note. In fact, you know, it's going to have to reach a point where we stop having meetings with our phones and our computers present. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, beloveds, to Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. It is really important to recognize the kind of playing field that we're on at such a time as this. When people talk about a mental warfare, it's not a joke, beloveds. It's the it's a real it's a real mental war that's going on. And if you don't understand, understand, and understand the weaponry that the enemy has at their disposal, then you know you'll be caught as a sitting duck, a sitting lame duck. The wind is so intense today, out of nowhere, out of the blue. But anyway, um, it's really important to recognize what kind of arsenal the enemy is playing with or the enemy has in his army. And they've done so much science on the brain. And so if you're still operating on the brain level, beloveds, then they're going to get you. If you're not aware of your subconscious and you continue to allow your subconscious to just play itself out, they're going to get you. If you have, if you, if you keep yourself in fear or you are too plugged into the matrix and what is happening in the matrix, they're going to get you. The only key is nature, beloveds. The most critical key is nature. Because nature is, is a different code. Nature's on a different frequency, so they can't crack that. And it's also to elevate yourself higher. Because so many people are living too physical. And if your, your reality and life is too physical, beloveds, they will get you. You need to move into where your spiritual world is more real. And people need to now practice the, sci the science of like speaking less, number one. Um, and, and, and more conscious thinking, beloveds. Arrest those thoughts because, before they become a narrative in your life. And that's why we have to be consciously aware of what, what, you know, the thoughts that kind of play. All of us have those thoughts that play out in our back, you know, in the background. This person did this. I don't have this. I'm limited here. You know, negative, negative, negative. It's like that, you know, the voice. Some of it, some people call it the shadow. And if the shadow is allowed to grow too big, it will seem like the shadow, you know, your own shadow is, you know, constantly criticizing you. Some call it the inner critic as well. But they found a way to turn up the volume of that inner critic, like to capture that inner critic and totally accelerate it or to play with that inner critic. And right now we are in a global MK Ultra, you know, program, beloveds. And the only way out is in. Because, you know, they've thought of everything out here, but they don't know everything in here. And it's also important, you see, there's something about knowing certain things and having certain information. Because you have all the security measures within you, inbuilt within you to face absolutely any scenario. But they get you when you don't know that that scenario exists. <laughs> Sorry, my cat is going crazy. Wadada. <laughs> uh. But seriously, beloved. Get to know what's going on so that it doesn't have a hold on you. Stay uplifted to Copamoja.